He who conceal, conceals his sins does not prosper, but whoever confesses and renounces them finds mercy. So I submit to you today, confess your sins and do not let them hide and fester inside of you until that day comes when you are tested by the fire. Isaiah 29, 16 says, you could turn things upside down as if the potter who thought, as if the potter were thought to be like the clay. Shall what is formed say to him who formed it, he did not make me? Can the pot say to the potter, he knows nothing? But Isaiah comes back later on and gives us the good news. Isaiah 64, 8 says, Yet, O Lord, you are our father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Again, God has said to his people, As the clay is in the potter's hand, so you are in my hand. When we are found flawed, God can remake us. When we fall apart at the seams, God can put us back together again. So I'd like you guys to just sit back and take in what you have just heard. Think about what type of clay you are and what type of clay you want to be. Do you need to be reshaped by God, our potter, and uh, the vessel that he has called us to be? Do you have unchecked sin in your lives that may be causing your pot to crack and eventually break? Or do you yourself need to be broken so that you could be reformed again by God? I'd like to share this video with you. And as you guys listen to it and watch it, just sit back and think about what you want to do in your life.
just pray that you would teach us to be the type of pot that you have created us to be and help us to surrender our life to you so that we could be formed as you see fit. In Jesus' name, amen.